USC will make its first trip to the Pac-12 title game on Saturday. With the Los Angeles Times, I'm Lindsay Theory, joined by beat reporter Gary Klein. It'll be a rematch for the Trojans against Stanford, who they lost to in September. However, this time around, USC has a new head coach, a permanent head coach, mm -hmm. Clay Helton. USC players playing so inspired during this run to get Clay Helton the full-time job. Now he's got it. Now they have to go out in the biggest game of the year and show that uh, he was worthy. <laughs> and they will be able to show that if they can slow down, and that's a big if, they can slow down quarterback Kevin Hogan, running back Christian McCaffrey, not to mention a few big receivers who defeated them with those big jump balls earlier this season. That first game at the Coliseum, USC defensive backs were in pretty good position to make plays, but the Stanford receivers, their experience, their physicality came through, and they made all those plays, along with Kevin Hogan running the ball. So USC, if you talk to their defensive players, they feel like they've made progress, that this is different the second time around, and that they're going to be able to make those plays. USC's offensive players said the first time around they weren't really sure who they were on offense. Now it's clear they're going to run the ball first. Justin Davis, plenty of carries against UCLA. We'll likely see him again. However, something to monitor, USC's offensive line. Third team center Khalil Rogers has a high ankle sprain. Perhaps it'll be fourth team center Nico Fala. USC fans will not forget when USC played Stanford a few years ago with the reserve center and what happened against Stanford's front Let's center. Let's remind them. Well, it, it didn't go well up in Palo Alto for yeah. quarterback Matt Barkley. So I talked to Nico Fala. He said he feels like he got some experience playing well against UCLA. If he's called on against Stanford, he feels he's ready. But this is in a very experienced Stanford defense, very physical, and USC players say they're looking forward to the physical matchup. So we'll see now if the new permanent head coach Clay Helton can lead USC to a victory that it missed out on in September. The entire Los Angeles Times college football crew will be in Santa Clara. Be sure to keep it on the Times for the latest on the Trojans. With Gary Klein, I'm Lindsay Theory.